Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 25th to the 31st. We're just going to see what comes up. Now keep in mind that not every reading is for you, and the timing is still fluid. So what do we have for Capricorn? What do we have for Capricorn? Overall energy, please. Ah! Exactly. Ah! <laughs> Tower moment. Faded event. Major life change. This is a much needed major life change. This is uh, an incident. There's upheaval. There's chaos. This is an oh my god moment. So there's change. This is a dismantling of a false foundation. There could be a change of residence here. There's going to be a disruption or a destruct or destruction. Whatever is happening, there is going to be a major life change this week. It's a much needed change. This is the universe that is reacting to something that is built on unstable ground. It's not safe. So somebody is being forced out of an unsafe situation courtesy of the universe. So light is going to be shed. Something, Some sort of light is going to be shed on a situation. Get prepared for a major change this week. This is a shock. Okay, it's a shocking change. So something is happening. Going to have to start someplace else. That is, build a new foundation someplace else. Major uproar, major change, rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. In October, October plays a very big part. Um... It could be something that happened last October. You could be dealing with somebody that's born in October. Something could happen be happening, you know, next October. What is but whatever is happening right now this week is is kind of uh, whatever it is, it's profound change. This is a faded event that is going to change your destination by the looks of things. Um, there is a level of indecisiveness. That is why the tower moment is here. To bring clarity, okay? So there is going to be some clarity. There is a younger man that is involved somehow. Um, there, is, If you've been experiencing some sort of stormy weather, it's going to come to an end. But it this is stormy weather, as you can see. You know, it's very stormy in this card. But once the storm is over, if we can get it to zoom. See? It's very stormy. Um... Oh my God, that's all I want is, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening, that kind of thing. But the most difficult part of a situation is over. Now you can rebuild. Now you can rebuild a stronger foundation. Um, yeah. So, tower is a faded life change. Shock. There could be some upheaval this week. King of Cups. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Scorpio up here as well. But the King of Cups is generally, genuinely, or generally somebody that follows their heart. That is being intuitively guided 
This is very emotional. I do think it's going to be an emotional time because you're going to be experiencing some sort of shock. It's going to, it's going to make you feel emotional. You're going to have to master your emotions this week. Um, somebody could be expressing their feelings towards you and that's emotional, you know, or you could be expressing feelings. I do feel like there's some sort there's somebody here that has good intentions. They're acting with their heart. And that may shock you, you know. This is somebody that is acting with their heart. Following their heart. Woo! Well, interesting. That's completely the opposite. It's definitely going to be emotional. It's definitely going to be emotional. Emotions are going to be all over the place by the looks of things. I think we have some one person that is acting with their heart. And then we have another person that is probably emotionally upset. There's definitely going to be an upset with that tower as well. So there's going to be an emotional upset this week. But you have to understand that we have somebody here that is following their heart. You may need to act with your heart. You may need to listen to your heart. Um, Queen of Cups reversed. That is... I don't know if there's some heartbreak here, you know, with the Queen of Cups reverse, deep sadness, disappointing, self-loathing. We, I mean, we could have somebody here that is drowning in their emotions over a major life change. Woo! Now the Sun card is about happiness. This is a new day. It's a new beginning, and this is starting with a clean slate. The tower forces you to start with a clean slate or somebody is choosing to start with a clean slate or well the universe is the tower card so we do have need this is a necessary evil it's when the universe comes in and forces something because somebody must start with a clean slate they must build a better stronger foundation anyhow the sun card is a card of a breakthrough it's happiness it's a life-giving energy it's a warm place it's starting uh, fresh it's a very fresh bright new beginning here so we do have a bright new beginning absolutely this is a new day it's a breakthrough I do feel like there's going to be some sort of happiness that comes after this major event this major event leads somebody towards emotional fulfillment and happiness but it's not going to be easy it's obviously going to be emotional so there's emotional change that is happening that leads somebody towards happiness um, walking away somebody's walking away from a situation where there's been some sort of betrayal or pain or hurt or, or fighting or the fighting but it's in the past it's leaving the pain behind leaving the battle behind there's nothing left to prove it's about happiness it's about love we have somebody here that has been in their ego they've been in their ego they've been trying to prove a point but now their heart knows it's like their heart is in a different place we have somebody that was egotistical that was always wanting to fight and i'm repeating myself but now you know it's like now it's about love right it's about doing the right thing it's about following the heart so i think there's going to be a a massive change of heart maybe we have somebody here that is overwhelmed they have a lot of responsibilities they're carrying a lot of baggage um they're carrying a, a lot of baggage. They need to let something go, get something off their chest. Somebody may be expressing feelings. They may be ready to let go of some baggage, let go of responsibilities. They've been trying to prove a point, but now they're ready to just let go. Look at that light shining right on the card. So there is some light, and that's light being shed. The tower is light being shed on a situation. I do think there's some sadness here. I think there's some heartache. Somebody's been in, in, in but now they've been enlightened. They've, they've got some sort of clarity. Somebody's received some sort of clarity about, you know, what love is. And I feel like they're going to be expressing feelings or they're going to be going after love after they've been, you know, maybe they've been untrue to themselves or they've been not seeing things clearly or they've been trying to prove something that is not will, worth proving you know with that five of swords they've been fighting they've been battling and it's a battle of ego but now it's like they just want to let go of this baggage they want to stop carrying this burden they've been carrying a heavy burden trying to prove a point somebody's been trying to prove this is both of these cards is trying to prove a point but now there's going to be a major change and i think it is a change of heart um 
Three of Cups reverse. Now this is, I don't know if there's a termination here or this is the end of a celebration. Parting ways. Somebody may be parting ways. We could have a third party situation that is coming to an end. You know, something is coming to an end because we have the completion here. Um, this is parting ways. Not happy. Somebody's definitely not happy about... Uh, what are they not happy about? A separation? They're not happy about a separation of some sort? Three of Cups reversed. That is parting ways. Termination. Um, there's a lack of emotional growth. Somebody's been wearing some sort of disguise pretending to be happy. But everything is going to be revealed. This is a major disruption, internal disruption. Somebody is feeling some sort of disruption or they're going to be really feeling it. They're really, really, really going to be feeling. feels like the pain of separation. Um, three of Cups reverse. That is parting ways. From friends or family or from, you know, a love you know, losing a love of some sort. We have somebody here that is extremely overwhelmed. They've been battling, they've been struggling a lot with their ego. And they're overwhelmed over a separation. But this is about happiness. This is a new day. It's a breakthrough. It's enlightenment. It's receiving clarity. So somebody is going to be seeing something very, very clearly because of some sort of event that is happening. It's all about love with the King of Cups and the Sun card, even the Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody's going to be seeing something about with their heart. They're going to be seeing something with their heart. I do feel like there's going to be some heartfelt changes or a change of heart or some, there could be some heartfelt communication that is coming through. I got a sneeze coming. Yeah, I do. I got a sneeze coming. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the Six of Swords reverse is refusing to take a new approach. Stagnation. Stopping. Stopping. Not Somebody is very troubled. They are very, very troubled. They are struggling to go to a new place. They're struggling to accept something. Because this is accepting. This is struggling. So we have somebody here that is struggling to accept. But I feel like they are going to see. They are going to see something because there's clarity. And the universe is going to force them to see. Page of Pentacles reverse. Now the Page of Pentacles reverse is a dead end. It's a lack of commitment. It's a foolish mistake. Somebody may have made a foolish mistake. This is somebody that is lazy, that doesn't put in effort, that was is refusing to apologize or can't apologize or um, doesn't really commit themselves. We have somebody here that is losing something. They are losing something of value because... I don't know. I don't, maybe they have a drinking problem. I don't know. It's a, or they're, they're, there's infidelity. Or there's a third party situation. Or um, they're controlling or something. Somebody is losing something of huge value. It's because they didn't put in effort. They were lazy. They, they, they were foolish. They slacked. This is somebody that is unhealthy. That doesn't accept responsibility. That doesn't take responsibility. You know, they don't follow through with their words. And I feel like there's some sort of termination here or a loss, you know, that causes some sort of pain with the Queen of Swords, causes emotional disappointment. But that, and maybe that's what brings the clarity, you know. Um, somebody is losing something of value and it's because they refuse to take a new approach. And now they're going to feel overwhelmed with this loss. Somebody is walking away. They're going to be feeling the disruption of the departure. 
But that sun card is happiness. It's a new day. It's freedom. It's actually a blessing. So there is a blessing here. There is a blessing with the sun card. But somebody has been refusing to see it as a blessing because of uh, lack of focus. So somebody hasn't been uh, focused in the right direction. They absolutely have not. But now they're going to be receiving some clarity courtesy of the universe. Um, one more card. Ah, fresh start, new beginning, new vision. Yeah, somebody is getting a new vision. They're becoming enlightened very fast, I believe. Sudden, suddenly. So I do believe that we have a new vision here, a new start, a fresh start, a new exciting opportunity that is being given to start with a clean slate. So there's a clean slate here. Somebody is being given an opportunity to start with. They're going to be starting with a clean slate. Somebody is, that's what's happening. There could be a new partner here. There could be a new sexual partner. Or there, could just be, or there could just be a new desire, a new vision, a new drive, a new, uh, a new way. This person just sees something because that's a vision. They start to see something clearly because the sun card is clarity. This is about freedom, freedom to start with a clean slate. You're free. So yeah, we have a new exciting opportunity that is being given courtesy of the universe, but it it, it hurts. It hurts. It's like, oh, love hurts, but that's, yeah, maybe it is love hurts, but that's not what I was thinking. Um, this is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. The tower is going to fall, but it brings about some sort of blessing and breaks you free from a situation where there's been a lot of trouble. It's a time of growth. It's a time of fertility. So this is a time of growth for you. Things are going to grow and they're going to grow pretty fast after there's been a lot of stagnation. So I feel like this is a week of profound change. Good luck.